Okay, the first thing I wanted to talk about is the blending between the idle walk and run, and how crucial it is for the walk and the run to start off on the right foot. If you have the walk starting off on the right foot, and the run starting off on the left foot, it's not going to blend properly. And what you want is a smooth transition between the idle walk and run, naturally. It's the thing that you're going to be seeing all the time. And especially since, especially in this case, since their idle starts off in the left foot further forward, then it's going to be important on how they start off their walk and the run. And with this transition, you hit seamless for the most part. You have the idle to walk to run. Now let me show you the bad way, the wrong way of doing it. Let me get situated here. So the mistake I made in going from my idle to walk to run is the well, it's mainly in the the walk because I'm fine with how the run starts off. The runs, the, my run cycle starts off with the right leg in the passing, so it's going to be the leg that moves forward. But in the walk. I start off with the left leg in passing, so naturally the left leg is what's going to go forward. And the blend between the walk and the idle isn't, no, isn't a big deal because I don't have any sort of drastic left or right foot forward here. So if you watch, go from idle to walk, cool, which is a walk in the early stages, so don't laugh. And then if I go to walk to run, you'll see that little hitch up right there. It's not a smooth transition because there's no way for it to blend correctly with right or left foot forward. So, smooth transition, non-smooth transition, little skip, like, dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm gonna run. So all I did to fix that was I went into the Maya file. Well, actually, let me show you this real quick. This is how theirs is, is set up. So they have their idle, walk, and run. And you notice how in the run, or going from the walk into the run, they have it with the appropriate leg forward. So when it goes to blend from the walk to the run, it's going to blend pretty seamlessly because of the leg that is forward correctly. And the same thing with their idle. Right foot is back in the idle, so naturally, for it to blend from the idle to the walk, it needs to be right foot forward. If their left foot for left foot was further in the back and the right foot was further forward, then it would make more sense to start off with the left leg in passing and the left leg in passing on the run as well. So, what I ended up doing is uh, open up my run file and see which pose I'm starting off at. Well, not necessarily the pose so much as the leg. So, have the right leg starting off in the passing, well, in the a little bit after the passing position, getting ready to go into suspension. So, since I'm done with the run, I'm going to go back to the walk, which I'm still working on, and adjust the leg accordingly. So since it's right foot forward, I'm going to make this the uh, the right foot on the walk, the passing position as well. Then, because currently I think it's the left foot, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the walk and make that adjustment. All right, so we have our walk cycle open. Funny enough, I think I already saved it with the correct version. Okay, so I already went in and made the change and exported out the FBX, so yeah. We'll just give you a look at what it was. Go ahead and do all of that. What it did look like was this. Where the left foot was forward, or going to be forward. So anyway, jump back into Unreal. And if I go down here to the walk, since I've already exported out the correct sequence, I can just say re-import. That'll re-import the walk sequence from where it came from. And then I can open up the blend space. 
and put it in the appropriate spot. Alright, so now if you go from the idle to the walk to the run, it's seamless because we have the appropriate legs forward and it's blending properly. So, so nothing you can't fix going back into the Maya file, but it's best to be aware of that as you're working so that you avoid little problems like this. But at least know that if you need to, going back into the Maya file, you can always just make sure you have everything selected. Can turn this on so I can see it. And as long as you have pre infinity cycle and post infinity cycle on, then <laughs> you can always change which foot's in passing and so on. So, blending, blending, blending. All right, that concludes the video for today.